morning. Good morning. Hello. Retake. Good morning. Good morning. No, that's not like that. Hello. Double chin. Anyway, let's just crack on. For those who subscribe to our channel already know what we do. We are Start to Print. We're a printing equipment supplier. We supply equipment, training, support. So to cut to the chase, Start to Print already has a YouTube channel. We've been uploading tutorials and informative videos about printing. Basically thought, let's just start a vlog at work and start to print. I fancy doing it. Richard's not very keen, but that's what makes this comedy gold. So the premise of every video is predominantly me annoying Richard. Sorry about the chair. Production budget will go up eventually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop upstairs and uh, see what uh, Big Rich is up to, the printing technician. A day in the life of Richard Sales. <laughs> Don't you lead a very interesting life, Richard? <laughs> no, not at all. Is your name Alan? Alan Key. Hey, what? Looking dapper. Bit of golf. Ooh, let's have a game. The things you find when you move in your office around Richard. Richard Woods. There we go. Oh! <coughs> He's already out of breath. Oh, done for. Come on, Richard, have another go. All right. <laughs> in the bunker. Not too bad. What did you say? As soon as I start to do something, I start sweating like a pig. <laughs> You've only played minutes of golf. I know. me to sort my office out now so I can get it sorted. So high end. Oh! Why are you two turning me, Richard? Uh, we're doing an office move today, so I've just got to sort this mess out and try and get it organised. Mm. How do you feel it's going so far? Chaos, mate. You ripped your jumper there, Richard. It's hard work, that is, mate. It is. You burst at the seams, I think. What are you saying on fat? You're saying on fat? I think you've had a heavy Christmas. Richard's decided to have a bit of a rearrangement in here. What's on this hard drive, Richard? Oh, top secret, mate. Secrets of the trade. Come around there. Oh. He's a bit uh, sensitive about that hard drive. Glasses on, now things are getting serious. What have we got there, Rich? Blades. Hit three blades with them. Oh, that's interesting. How many blades do you think you've inserted into these little plastic clips over the years, Rich? Oh, I've inserted lots. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> you having a break already, Rich? Pretty hard today, I have. You're going to show us how to uh, set up that Epson printer a little bit later, Richard? Definitely. Show you how to put all the inks in, get it all set up, ready to go. And we can also use this printer to use this printer to do DTF. Wouldn't mind escaping up her tunnel. <laughs> get out. So I'm going to let Richard. Uh, Crack on with uh, organising his new office. We're just moving some storage units. We've just got to uh, move a load of blank stock, mugs, presses, all sorts. So, yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> Mr. Richard, how are you? How are you, mate? Your office is looking a bit more organised now. Yeah, all good. Just going to set up the printer. Well, whilst we're here, if you want to, we'll, uh, we'll film it for the people who are watching. Okay, we'll no do a bit of an unboxing video. Show them the techniques, show them how to fill it, all those sorts of things. So just something a bit simple. Fire engine? It's because you're getting too hot in here earlier. 2810 sublimation printer. Ooh, is that epic consumable paper? It is. There's a bit of branding in there, Richard. Of course, yeah. Best on the market, mate. Obviously, you get all your instructions to go with it, but you don't really need them. You don't need them when we're in town. Definitely not, because we set it all up for you. 
That obviously comes with a CD, but we install the software for you if you obviously purchase from us. That's, uh, the software that's on there is also hidden on Richard's secret hard drive. Okay. Power cables. Syringes for the inks. Epic top quality inks. People also, sorry. People also don't realise that it's just those four colours will give you the whole sort of uh, the whole array of sublimation colours that you need. Whole spectrum. The whole spectrum. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for. And there she is. There's just something really satisfying about peeling these off. Mmm, shiny. Oh, the hidden one. Just to protect the print heads. So print heads need cleaning fairly often, would you say, Richard? Yeah, more so with sub ink because it's the thicker ink, so therefore you need to clean the heads more often. Depends if you leave it a couple of days, then you definitely need to give your heads a clean. So, first task, Richard, when setting this up. Ink. Now, I believe some of these Epson printers will come with a different set of ink. Yeah, that's the standard ink. So if, if you buy a printer from Epson, you get the standard ink, which yes, you, you get a cartridge that you just put in, and it gravity feeds. Okay. But these are sublimation ink, so you have to inject these. Yeah, so with sub inks, you've got to inject them into the uh, uh, tank, into the ink tank. Obviously, when you get them from us, this is what we do to set it all up for you beforehand, so you don't have to get your hands messy. Right then, Rich, get your nozzle out. Richard, as of the pro, has already lined his inks up in line with this. There's no mistakes. From Richard's experience, if you put the uh, the inks in the wrong uh, in the wrong chambers, then um, in the wrong tank sections, then uh, yeah, it's a bit of hard work, isn't it, Richard? It's a nightmare. You basically have to drain out all the ink, clean it out with a cleaner, and then replace all the inks with the right colours. Yeah. And even then, you have still got to run your paper through to make sure that the ink hasn't mixed and cleared. And they sent us a syringe without a tip on it. Robin Is there a problem here, sir? I, I don't think so. Richard, how dare you? It's here. Sorry, Epson. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Remember, don't force it. Let it go in gently. Okay, so we've got an issue with this needle. See how you can't draw from it? It just keeps pulling back because it creates a vacuum. Check the tip. Nothing blocking it there. Draw it again. See, no problem. So it's in there. You need to get a needle or something just to prick a hole through there so as you've got flow. We haven't got a needle. <laughs> Sod's law, isn't it? You're probably the coolest printer dude in the world. And this is why you need to wear gloves. So you don't have to get your hands messy. <laughs> Little bit of a tidy up, keeping the inks to one side, charge the printer. Once it's charged, it'll draw some through, and then we've got to refill to make it top full. Power on, leave it to decide what it's going to do. So, this will just uh, kind of go through a little bit of a process. Well, 
I wasn't rolling, so what actually happens is, as Richard would have explained if I'd have actually pressed record, is that once you've switched this on, it'll go through a kind of a flashing sequence stage, and then this ink light will stay solid. And once that's on solid, you need to hold down this button for five seconds, and then it'll start the process that it's actually doing now, which is basically drawing ink from the, from the tank into the print heads and basically priming it. Okay, so at the moment, it's drawing the ink out of the tanks and into the print heads that are inside. Whilst it's still flashing like that, it's still working out, so leave it alone to do its stuff. Once that's on permanently, it's a solid light, and that light is off, that means it's completed its task, and then we can recharge the tanks. Cheers, Tiger. Whilst we're waiting for this, uh, the printer to charge, I'm gonna do a little bit of a Q&A with Richard. Okay, what do you wanna know? What are you doing this weekend coming? Weekend coming, probably nothing. What did you have for tea last night? Oh, we had pie and mash. Did you? Yeah, mm. pie, pie and mash and veg. And what's for tonight? Uh, chicken, gonna do a full chicken. Yeah. Mm. Chicken dinner. Mm, nice. There you go. Air fryers, that's the thing, eh? Yeah. I've been telling Richard for a while to get an air fryer. You just can't get them? No, I'm sure. get them. Yeah. Like Bitcoin, aren't they, Richard? I got in there whilst they were cheap. Yeah, now they're like rocking or studio. Yeah. And don't buy the ones that say they're cheap because they don't exist. 160 quid. Yeah. And they say, buy now, we've got limited stock, 49.99. They're not there. Aren't they? They don't exist. Is it a scam? It's a proper scam. Don't get scammed on air fryers. Not only do you learn about Epson printers, you learn about getting scammed on air fryers. So what are you up to there, Richard, on the computer? Uh, just sorting out a decent start to print logo. Trying to get rid of some of these jagged edges. Yeah. Because with vinyl, you need clear and precise edges as best you can. As best as you can, as clean a lines as you possibly can get. Makes life a lot easier. Keep seeing myself in that picture and I think, yeah, I'm definitely fat. <laughs> <laughs> Camera adds 10 pounds, which is... 10 pounds, more like 20 there. Yeah. Printing advice from the fat man. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. Doing what the Americans call like the grilled cheese sandwiches, put it in a fry pan. So you, you butter the outside, yeah. chuck that in the fry pan, yeah. chuck your ham and bacon or whatever it is you're gonna have on top, put the other side on and then flip it in the fry pan. Yeah. So it's like toasted, but you've got the butter taste on the outside. Richard's just explained to us what probably most people know across the whole of the UK. What about the grilled cheese sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The light's continuously on, so that's telling you that it's done its bit and it's filled all of the internal tanks for the printheads. So now we can just go ahead and top up, just to bring it back up to the top up level. Okay, so make sure and hard connect it. You can Wi-Fi it, because they are Wi-Fi. USB hard wire for the printer. Your uh, preference of choice, Richard? USB every time. So once your printer's uh, inks are primed and it's hooked up to the USB, um, you can then insert the, uh, the Epson insulation disc. Or you can go to the Epson website and just do it from there. But obviously we already do it for you if you purchase from us. Okay, so put the disc in, you get the Epson um, installation stuff come up. Now we're doing it for the 2810 because that's the newest version that we've got. The 2710, which is what people have been using for a good while, is still perfectly good and it keeps going for as long as you, you look after it. But we're just gonna have the 2810 just because it's the newest one. Yeah, so as you can see, it's just basically following all the prompts that come up. It's asking whether I've done all my inks, which obviously I have. I've just shown you how to do all the inks. Click the tick, click on the next, and then it'll just basically do it itself. Now it's installing all the drivers. Okay, so you can see you get an option wireless, but I always go with the USB connector because let's say for the data dropout, you don't get any data dropout when it's hardwired. Okay, so you've come to all the extra software for the scanner utility, the manual, the Epson Photo, Epson Scan Smart, the software update. You don't really need to them because we're just gonna use it for sublimation printing. So you wanna keep it minimal. Saves any hassle that you get later on this in your control panel this is your, your Epson ET2810 uh, printer that we're using as a sublimation printer so you want to make it your default printer 
is you don't want your sublimation software going to any other printer because it won't be set correctly to have sublimation prints. Okay, so once you've got your control panel open and click on printing preferences, settings that you need in here really to make sure that it prints correctly for sublimation printing. It's all in, in, contained in our uh, setup videos on the Start to Print website. So we've set up a, a, a how-to video on our Start to Print website. So get this printer and you, you need to set it up. You need the specific settings. We've done a how-to video on there. On the new printers, you want bi-directional printing to make sure that it's checked and it's on. On the old printers, it used to have high speed and we used to say turn that off because you want the maximum amount of ink because the newer printers print from both sides at the same time. It's faster and it gives you the maximum best quality ink print that you can get. Whatever design software you're gonna use for your sublimation, you need to make sure that it's the design software that's controlling the print. You don't want the computer controlling the print. You don't want the printer controlling the print. You want the design software controlling the print with a specific profile for the inks that you're using. Yeah. We're using Epic Sublimation Ink, our own kind of formula. So it'll be specific to us. If you purchase a package from us, we preload that profile. But if you do purchase different inks, um, obviously make sure you get the correct profile that matches the correct ink. So, Mr. Richard, thank you for showing us how to set up the uh, the Epson ET2810, I think it was. Yeah, the Epson ET2810, that's just the basics. There is a little bit more to it, but obviously our uh, videos on our site give you more detail. Yeah, a bit more in-depth, aren't they? Yeah. I'll let you crack on with doing your uh, the rest of your office setup here. And then um, I think we'll have to do a bit more, uh, a few more printing videos, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I do. We can do that. And starting with... Uh, yeah, you need to go up to a 4XL. You're saying I'm fat again? <laughs> fat shaming you. <laughs> fat shaming you. Mr. Sales, big respect. Have a great day. No worries.